Hi, I'm Lorna with the Milky Nap Company and I'm here to talk to you all about getting started with cloth nappies and hopefully we can make it as easy as possible for you. So, first of all, the benefits of using cloth nappies. Um, I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail here, but the three big ones are the cost. So if you use cloth nappies from birth um, and all the way up to potty training um, and those nappies you then either resale or use for a second or third child, then the cost difference between using cloth nappies and re and disposable nappies is quite significant. So you can make quite a saving in money. However, the initial outlay for cloth nappies is obviously a lot larger than disposables. You've then got the environmental issue, which tends to be the big one. Um, so there was a lot of um, toing and froing a few years ago about whether cloth nappies really were more environmentally friendly given the amount of water used um, in washing them and keeping them clean. However, when you compare that with the amount of water and energy used to keep producing disposable nappies and transporting them, also taking into account the build-up of waste and how long they take to decompose, so you could be looking at 500 years for disposable nappy to decompose. Um, when you're looking at 5,000 odd nappies, that's, that's quite considerable. So when you take the environmental issues into account, it really is more environmentally friendly to use cloth nappies than disposables. Um, the third one tends to be all about the baby. So which one is better for baby? The natural fibres in cloth nappies is much gentler on the baby's skin than, say, the chemicals used in disposable nappies. Uh, there is the argument that um, babies stay wetter um, when you use a cloth nappy. However, many modern cloth nappies have a fleece or um, like a microfiber element to them, which will draw that moisture away from the baby's bottom very, very quickly. Um, so that's no longer a problem with cloth nappies. Um, downsides of cloth nappies is obviously going to be um, the perceived work involved. So a lot of people think it, it's going to be scrubbing and bleaching and soaking, trying to get these cloth nappies clean. Um, they think it looks complicated, um, which it can do if you've done any kind of research on the internet, it can become a bit overwhelming. Um, and obviously there's the having to deal with poo, which can be a bit off-putting for some people. <laughs> um, hopefully I can show you that it can be easy and show you how to use cloth nappies in a way which hopefully means that you don't have to deal with too much poo and it doesn't impact on the amount of work you've got to do with a new baby in the house. Okay, so let's deal with how to use cloth nappies first of all. Um, so very simply, you take the nappy, whichever one it is that you're using, Take it off from baby, put a new one on. If you've got any kind of Velcro, then you will need to make sure that those are done up. Um, and these ones, for example, have got a little tab that you can do the Velcro up onto. If you have any inserts in the nappy, um, you're just going to pull those out and then you're going to chuck the whole thing, along with any cloth wipes, into either a wet bag or a nappy pail, depending on which way you decide to go with those. When you've got um, lots of nappies built up, so you're halfway through the amount that you've got. You're going to take the whole lot and chuck them in the washing machine. Um, newborn poo is water soluble, so you won't have had to do anything with it. You can literally just, any pooey nappies, just put them in your nappy pail or in your wet bag, and then you're going to put it all straight into the washing machine. If you have a baby that's weaning, before you put the nappy in the pail, you're going to just pop that poo down the toilet. So you're going to just allow it to fall off the nappy and into the toilet and flush that away. Um, you're going to put the nappies in the washing machine on a rinse cycle, first of all. Um, and they can go all in together, pop it onto a rinse cycle, 14, 20 minutes, just to wash away any urine, any poo away from the nappies. Um, you're then going to turn it onto a cotton wash with some non-bio powder um, and that's going to be a two and a half hour cycle. Now I tend to do that cycle overnight so that it doesn't impact my life so that my washing machine is not taking up washing nappies all the time. I just make sure that the last thing I do before I go to bed is just pop that washing machine on 
and then in the morning they're all clean and ready to take out and either hang up or pop in the tumble dryer depending on what you have available. Um, any stains on the nappies can quite easily come out in the sunshine. So a nice sunny windowsill or if you have the outside space just to hang them on the line in the sunshine should remove the stains. Um, you can use liners and things like that to protect your nappies from staining if you want to. But you shouldn't use any kind of fabric conditioners, any bleach, any stain removers on your nappies. This can invalidate any guarantees that you get and it can mean that the natural fibres are all broken down so your nappies won't work as well. Okay, um, that's it. That's as easy as they are to use. Putting the nappies on and, and how you use them will depend on the type of nappy that you have opted to go for. Now there are various things to consider when you think about which cloth nappy you want to go for. They all work in basically the same way. They have a waterproof layer and an absorbent layer. Um, the things to consider is who else is going to be using the nappies. So how complicated a system do you need? Do you need it to be nice and easy so that you can use them at childcare or with grandparents? Or is it just you and maybe your partner or um, some close family using them that you think would be fine using anything a little bit more complicated? Um, you've also got the issue of costs, so how much they are going to cost you as an initial outlay before you can kind of recoup the benefits of that over time. Um, and also, um, you have to think about the size of the baby and which ones are going to fit better over time. So if you've got a baby that's particularly large and is going to be very, very tall, there are some nappies that will be a bit better in that situation. Okay. So there are four main types of cloth nappy, which I will run through with you now, and you can see which ones will be better suited to you and what you need. Okay. The first is what's called an all-in-one. And these are the closest you can get to a disposable with cloth nappies. And quite simply, all in one just means that the nappy comes all in one piece. So the waterproof layer and the absorbent layer is all attached. Um, you don't have to do any taking apart. It all just hangs out to dry in one piece. Um, and usually there's um, a bit to fold inside it itself, but it's really straightforward and simple. When you change the nappy, you change the whole nappy. You don't do anything to it, you just take the nappy off, pop it in the back of the bucket or the wet bag, ready to put a new one on. And that's it. This one, for example, has um, Velcro to close, so it really is very, very similar to a disposable. Some nappies do have poppers to close, um, and they size at the front here with a few poppers just to make them smaller or bigger, depending on baby size. Now this brand in particular is a little bit different. So most all-in-one nappies take quite a long time to get dry. So they're nice and convenient, really straightforward, really good if you've got other people involved in changing the baby or you're gonna use any kind of childcare. However, because they don't come apart, they can take a long time to get dry if you don't have a tumble dryer to use. With Close Pop-In, which is this brand, the all-in-one part, the absorbent part does actually pop in and out so you can detach it um, which makes drying a lot faster um, but that's just something a little bit different for this brand these ones are also made from recycled bottles so they are a little bit more friendly for the environment okay the next type that you have is what's called an all-in-two um, and it's a little bit more complicated um, but not much. So again, you've got your waterproof layer, which is the outside. They do up with Velcro, these ones, and these are by Tickle Tots. And they have poppers on the outside to make them smaller and bigger. So they are birth to potty, one size nappies. With an all in two, they come apart. So you have an absorbent layer and the waterproof layer, and they come completely apart. The waterproof layer also has a um, kind of shiny inside, so you can wipe that down in between nappy changes and just put a new insert in. So one outside layer could do two or three different nappy changes and you would just put a new absorbent part in each time. 
so they tend to be a little bit cheaper than your all-in-ones because you can buy just a few of the outside layer and many more of the inside part however you have got that issue of having to wipe them down and put a new insert in so that can affect who uses them and and how efficient that is okay there is another brand that we sell of the all in twos which is by kajani baby um, and they are they work in exactly the same way they have that waterproof absorbent layer and that just pops in and out so that you can just change the insert each time um, there is differences between the two brands so the tickle top ones are a uk company and they are great particularly for small babies they go really tiny around the legs and they are very slim fitting quite a small napping um, the kajani ones are ugandan brand and they are a social enterprise company and they were really set up to look after the local economy um, local families and um, help out ugandans with the cost of nappies um, disposable nappies are quite expensive um, to get and difficult to source in Uganda um, so cloth nappies really is the way forward they are all handmade and they are all limited edition prints on there okay the third type of cloth nappy that you can use is what's called a pocket now a pocket nappy um, simply means that the absorbent part of the nappy goes inside this pocket at the back so it's got a bit of a hole in there in the wrap and you just push it in and flatten it out now the nappy does up with poppers at the front for the size up and down similar to the other two but this one has poppers to do it up around the waist as well so you will, it looks a little bit more complicated but once you know where to put the poppers it is nice and straightforward to do up again they're quite slim fitting um, and these tend to be the cheaper ones of the cloth nappies, but they come in lots and lots of different patterns and designs. Um, they come with what's called a microfiber insert. So when you use pocket nappies is when you probably get into more detail about needing different types of inserts um, and working out which ones are bamboo and cotton and microfiber and how they all work together. Um, with these, the microfiber is, will be absolutely fine probably to start with, especially if you're using them from, from birth or from very small. But you will need to maybe add on some bamboo boosters later on to those. Okay, and these ones are the Alpha Baby ones, which is that. Okay, so pockets, again, really easy to use. You're just going to change the whole thing each time. You have got a bit of work to do once they've been washed for all the inserts inside the pocket and get them flat. Um, but when you're using them for childcare, things like that, they're very good because you can have them all ready for people just to change the whole nappy each time. The poppers do make them slightly more complicated to do up. Um, but once you know exactly where those poppers are going, they tend to be quite easy. Okay, the last type we're going to look at is what's called a two-parter. So, a two-parter literally comes as two different nappies. You've got the absorbent nappy, so it's a bit like the old-fashioned way of using a terry towel and fold it up, but it makes life a bit easier because it's shaped into a nappy. Um, and this one is bamboo, so it's all lovely and soft and very absorbent. And then over the top of that, you're going to put a wrap, like this one. Okay. Just like so. And that's your absorbent, your absorbent and your waterproof layer together. Now these tend to be quite bulky, but they are very, very, very absorbent. So these are brilliant for overnight uh, because you can get 12 hours absorbency out of these without having to change the baby. So if you're after a good night's sleep, um, and if baby's able to sleep all the way through the night, then this will mean that at least they're not waking up due to a wet nappy. Okay. So the downside of these is that they tend to be bulky. So for daytime use, um, some people prefer the slimmer type of nappies that we looked at earlier. Now these ones come sized, so size one will do you up to about nine months 
um, and then you will need a size two to take you up to potty training, potentially a size three if your baby's a bit taller. Okay. Um, all the others that we looked at, the all-in-one, all-in-two and pockets are all what we call birth to pot potty nappies. Um, so that just means that they go from around eight to nine pounds all the way up to potty training. Um, if you've got a baby that's born that's that's smaller than nine pounds, you are then into the realms of using um, newborn nappies. So newborn cloth nappies are tiny, as you can see, um, and they come in sets ready to use. Um, and these go from about kind of four or five pounds up to 12 pounds. There is a crossover between newborn and your birth to potty nappies. Um, now, newborn sets you can hire or you can purchase. They are cheaper to buy than your full size nappies because there is an awareness that they're not going to last as long. Um, but the resale value on these does tend to stay really quite well. Um, and because you're not using them for very long, they do last for, through multiple children very nicely. Okay, so once you've decided what type of nappy you want to go for, it's then just looking at the different brands within that. Um, it's you're not going to go very far wrong if you stick to some of the main brands. So any of the um, nappies have got the waterproof layer, the absorbent layer. As long as you have those elements, it will then just be making sure that they are absorbent enough. When it comes to the size of the baby, um, if you've got a baby like mine who's a bit of a giant, then the Kajani ones are very good because they do go up to a bigger size and they do give a little bit more space in them. Um, the slimmer fitting version of, say, the Tickle Tots will still fit a larger baby, but they may not last as long if your baby's going to be particularly tall. Um, when it comes to, say, the close pop-ins, so the first one we looked at, the all-in-one that comes apart, they are good for any kind of size or shape baby. Um, but with all of them, you would they only go from about eight or nine pounds, so you would be looking at something a bit smaller than that if you've got a smaller baby to start with. Now, a lot of confusion comes in when we start talking about liners or inserts or boosters. So liners are either a reusable liner, which is made of fleece, or a disposable liner, and these come on a roll. These ones you throw in the bin. The reusable ones, obviously, you just pop in the wash with your nappies. The reason to use these will be if you are using any kind of nappy creams, then you need to protect your nappy from the waterproof element of those. You don't want your nappy suddenly becoming waterproof um, on the inside. So you would just lay them between baby's bottom and the nappy just to protect the nappy from that nappy cream. You can use either for that. Um, the other time to use it is if you're worried about staining on your nappies and you're not um, convinced that the sunshine's going to get them out, then you can use a liner in your nappies to protect the nappy itself. The fleece Liners are particularly good for overnight because they help babies stay feeling dry. So the fleece element of these will allow all moisture to go through them, but stay dry feeling on the top. And that's the only reasons really that you use liners. Um, if baby has got something like thrush or a particularly bad cold, then a liner could be a good idea in that situation as well. Okay, boosters tend to be similar looking but they are made of cotton or microfiber or bamboo or even hemp and that's to add a bit of extra absorbency to your nappy. Okay, So you are only going to need to purchase those if your nappy isn't absorbent enough. Um, and I would say when you're first getting started, it's probably not something you're going to worry about too much. You are going to need them more if you're looking at the Alva Baby Pocket Nappies um, because they are a cheaper brand, they don't come with quite the same levels of absorbency as the more expensive ones. Okay, other accessories that you might need to consider are a wet bag. So a wet bag looks like this, uh, it has a waterproof inside and a zip to do it up to contain all the smells or if you're out and about that's going to hold all your nappies in. These ones, for example, have an extra pocket on the front, which is really good for putting any wipes and, or dry nappies in. Um, and they have a little handle that unsnaps so you can attach it to your pram. Now, you can use a wet bag out and about. 
so you can put all your dirty nappies in there when you're out and about and wipes or and and you can use them at home to store your dirty nappies so if you're going to use it for both you'll probably want more than one wet bag um, and they do come in bigger sizes than this one as well for at home where you might need a bit extra capacity um, if you're using a wet bag once it's full of nappies you're just going to chuck the whole thing in the washing machine um, unzipped and all the nappies will just come out and, and be washed and the bag can be washed as well um, alternatively at home you might want to consider using a nappy bucket instead or a nappy pail so a nappy pail is simply a bucket with a lid um, you can buy these quite cheaply you can buy specific nappy brand ones that have got locks on so when you've got a baby that's a bit more mobile and curious that could be quite handy um, or you can pick them up quite cheaply just a normal nappy bucket or um, just a normal bucket with a lid is absolutely fine inside that you will probably want to put a mesh bag so having more than one of these available is always a good idea um, then you can just simply chuck all your nappies in the mesh bag into the washing machine um, have the mesh bag undone so that they can all come out if you've got more than one mesh bag, then obviously you can carry on using your nappy bucket with the mesh bag, new mesh bag in while these ones are drying and washing. Okay, last but not least, um, you'll be looking at using wipes. So if you use disposable wipes, you are back into the realms of needing somewhere to put the dirty wipes to throw them away. Um, because they can't go in with your nappies into your nappy bucket otherwise you're going to have to fish them out before you put them through your washing machine you could end up with a blocked up washing machine otherwise so you're back into the realm of needing a plastic nappy sack to put all your dirty wipes in to then put them in the bin or if you use cloth nappy wipes like these ones from cheaper wipes then once you have used the wipe you can chuck it in the bag or in the bucket with your dirty nappies and they can all go through the wash together and all be clean together. Um, you will not have to hang out each individual wipe on the washing line, uh, which could take quite a long time. Once they can still go back into your wet box while they're still wet, they don't need drying in between. Um, a box like this, uh, this is the cheeky wipes one, but you can have any kind of Tupperware box. Um, it's really good for storing your wipes. You can have them pre-wet in here and just use them as if they're a disposable wipe. Um, just take one out of the box or two out of the box out them when you need them. You can also take them out and about wet, so you would just take a handful of your wipes, pop them in the front pocket of your wet bag, and then you've got them there to use, and you can put them in the main part of your wet bag once they're used with your dirty um, nappies. So this kind of box just shows you where to fill the water to, and you can put the wipes in, and it all becomes very easy to use. And that was the cheeky wipes box. So, if you're with me so far, Everything you need to get started with cloth nappies is going to be around 20 nappies. Now that could be 15 day nappies and five nighttime nappies. So maybe something like the Little Land system, which was the two-parter that will last all night. Or if you look at something like, for example, the first nappy we looked at, the close pop-in, that comes in a box with night boosters. So you would just need 20 nappies and then you have the additional boosters in the box as well to get you through the night. Liners, disposable or reusable, are a good idea for when you have nappy rash or if baby gets any coughs or colds. Um, it's a great idea to have some liners to hand, whether they are disposable or reusable ones. So that's either fleece liners or the disposable liners that come on a roll. You'll also want some wipes um, and then a wet bag for out and about. And then for at home, you either want a wet bag or two or a bucket with some mesh liners in and that's it that's your complete shopping list if you have a look on my website um, the Norfolk nappy company .com, you will find blogs and resources on there to explain exactly what you need to get started um, and if you have any questions please do feel free to contact me at Lorna at the Norfolk nappy company .com. Um, for help with fitting nappies, um, I have got a range of videos available on our YouTube channel, um, which you can get to through the website. Um, and that will show you how to use each individual type of nappy and also how to fit a nappy on a baby really well. Um, I hope that's been helpful. Um, and as I say, please let me know if you've got any questions. Thank you.